Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Mighty Man channel. It's not just the name's way of life. You got to improvise and have to overcome each and every day, just to make it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Gunstreamer, GunTube, Gab, Getter. Appreciate all support there. If you feel called to check me on Patreon. I can always use the help out. Uh, also, I am wearing safety rated sunglasses and Axel GS Extreme earbuds that are rated for shooting. And we are shooting that steel, and behind it is the proper backstop berm. Now, that being said, we're being as safe as possible. And uh, topic today's video is we're continuing our remanufactured Callaway Ballistics 115 grain t total metal jacket versus our new Callaway Ballistics 115 grain total metal jacket. Now, that being said, I am uh, not going to waste a bunch of it because I got a lot of other firearms I want to try it out in, but Now this is not the one without the rear sight, but this is my personal high point C9 that I bought for $129 brand new at Dunham's, $129.99 on a sale about three-ish years ago. But anyway, probably one of the cheapest 9 millimeters out there. We're going to see how good Callaway ammo runs in it. Uh, oh, guys. I got to appreciate, I mean, I appreciate y'all how and uh, all the folks at Callaway Ballistics for sending me this ammo and making this video possible. But the thing about it is, what's it going to do in the high, in the high point, how? Is it going to run in the high point? Well, we're about to find out. All right, so let's load up five of the re -man. re -man. we'll load up five in this single stack magazine. Now this magazine ain't been the greatest magazine, so we'll see what it does. It's hard to tell because they're all covered in shaving cream, but some of those, uh, some of those uh, targets down there don't have any shots on them right now. I just got some shaving cream and some red paint. So we're going to take this reman. Hey, chambered. We're going to take this reman right here. We're going to put five on Timmy Bobby. See what kind of group we can get. I'm going to stand about right here. I could probably lower. Y'all see my junk on the table, but I'm going to lower y'all down a little bit. Give y'all a better view. See what kind of group we can get on old Timmy Bobby there. Alright, here we go. High point. <laughs> We hit the same thing, that's a good thing. <laughs> Alright, we'll load up the new. We'll load up the new now. Now, this time, that gentlemen, I got it out of order again. We shot the new first. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we shot the new first. I'm going to have to run the camera back and actually look. See what box I got it out of. Because what box I got it out of is what I showed you. Dang it, I was right. I messed up again. I shot the new first. I did that in the first video, first test that we did with this. And you probably noticed I had a bunch of shaver cream on my back. I probably still got some. I got a little bit of it off there. But from shooting these shaver cream, been shooting a lot of videos today, it happened. All right, now. I am... Making sure this time I get them out of the reman. So we are shooting the reman this time. We shot the new first and thought we were shooting the reman. So, yep, we'll load these up and we'll shoot that big round plate. Okay? That's what we'll shoot. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. All right, we'll shoot that big round plate. 
see what kind of group we can get on it and see if the new actually the reman we're shooting the reman now <laughs> if i don't use myself yet see if the reman will run in this 129 dollar gun i bought new at denim here we go Let's see if it will I missed one of them. Well, we'll just say that was me. I don't want to get far out of on there. So, if I missed one, we're going to do another one. Alright, here we go. Alright, we got it. Alrighty. Let's go down there and take a look at the groups. Alright, for one, the groups are not going to be that great because I can't shoot good with that high point. The main point of this video is, though, it will function in a high point. Both types of ammo function in the high point. We run five rounds each out of a high point. $129 high point. Guys, can you talk about the Callaway Ballistics ammo and say it's bad now? Since it run out probably the cheapest 9mm on the market. Heck no. It's some good stuff. Y'all should check out how in the guys of Callaway Ballistics. Get some ammo from if you want some 9mm, some 380, some 38 special, some uh 223 or 300 blackout. They got it, they got all that. And they're they're working on getting more. Being able to manufacture more. They're a good Christian company, small business, support them. The shipping ain't that bad on it, and their prices are real reasonable. Check them out. Let's go down there and look at those groups. Well, folks, we had four. And not too bad of a group. And then we have one big flyer down there. Now let's look over here. We missed one completely. So even though we was aiming right in the middle of that plate, uh, this was the remanufactured now. It looks like two or three hit up top. Well, they all hit up top. Near, near the very top of it. And not that bad of a group either. I did miss one, pull one. Uh, so I had to load one more in it, but folks, the groups are pretty comparable uh, from between, between the remanufactured right there and the new. Uh, and I'd say I just pulled that one on the bottom. So, yeah, not a very big group. Yep, you see there. That'll give you all a little bit of some scale. Yep, so y'all can see, folks, it shoots, and it works in a $129 high point. Well, folks, you know, for range ammo, it's pretty darn accurate. Uh, you know, uh, it shoots where you aim. I can't say it's not accurate. I mean, it, it, any, any accuracy flaws was just me, and it worked out of that $129 high point. And I can't hit the broadside of the barn with that. So it's got to be pretty good stuff if I actually hit the steel with it. So we got a couple groups on steel and only like miss one shot out of 11 shots. Well, on the reman, out of six shots, we missed one because we had to fire six because I pulled one. I mean, guys, it runs. And it runs in a high point. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't say enough good things about it if it runs in the high point. I mean, what, what bad can you say about it? I mean, it runs. And I, I, I definitely a big shout out to Callaway Ballistics for making this video possible and sending me this ammo. And folks, you know, a lot of us prep. A lot of us like to stack and stock ammo. And look at the born dates on this. I've actually had this almost a month, maybe at least three weeks, three weeks close to a month. Now, I haven't got to shoot it yet. They sent me this. And look at the born dates. Folks, it's all new ammo. I mean, even though it's the reman, this is the reman, and this is the new with a brand new case, and this is with a remanufactured case. You know, you might have some that are Federal, some that are Blazer, or whatever. Well, this one's a FC. I mean, 
with those bore dates. They're being born this year, folks. Think of the longevity of that ammo if you stack it. Why not buy it and stack it? It's, it's a good, reasonable price. The shipping's not that bad on it. Check out Callaway Ballistics. You know, good... Uh, they're a good uh, small business, you know, uh, good Christian guys, and, uh, you know, they're they're pumping out all the ammo they can, and, you know, they need support, and folks, the support will, might, will cause them to be able to make more affordable rounds for more calibers. You know, they've already, their 9mm rounds are about average what they are anywhere else, or a little bit under the price for them, and, uh, and they're 223 rounds. The price ain't bad on them. I mean, uh, they're 380. Ain't got a bad price because you can't find 380 anywhere. And they got some good range 380. Folks, you need to go check them out. And uh, again, thanks to them for sending me that ammo. I can't thank them enough. And I'm just rambling incoherently, but it's, just, it's out of love. I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Let's